Hi, my name is Krishna Nair, and I will be attending grade 9 at St. Mary High School in Dundas, Hamilton, this September of 2018. I've been fascinated by space ever since my grade 7 dog sledding trip, where for the first time I actually paid attention to the night sky. So there are different ways to get images from space such as a satellite or NASA, and I started to wonder how exciting it would be to get my very own images from space, but for a much more affordable price. Re releasing satellites and rockets into the stratosphere and space can be very expensive. The average satellite costs nearly 295 million Canadian dollars, as compared to a high-altitude balloon, or HAD, which can cost nearly $1,000 to $100,000, making the technology an inexpensive and reliable way to launch scientific research or experiments into the stratosphere or space. The construction of HABs relies upon using readily available hardware to keep the costs low and ensure that HABs are accessible to researchers at all levels, from hobbyists to scientists. A helium balloon supports multiple objects that are attached to a rope called a flight train. The flight train usually consists of a parachute, radar reflector, and payload box. The payload usually holds electronic devices used to collect images and data from near space. HABs can be used for conducting atmospheric and climate research, collecting space-like data, the futuristic idea of space tourism, and Google's most recent Project Loon. Project Loon has decided to take a terrestrial infrastructure and lift it up to the stratosphere by utilizing a high-altitude balloon. For someone who is living a hundred kilometers away from a terrestrial infrastructure to have affordable access to the internet. For my grade 8 project at the Halton Waldorf School in Burlington, I decided to design, construct, and launch my very own high-altitude balloon to near space. My project also involved the recovery of the craft by utilizing a parachute and locating device. I decided to call my craft Project Taurus. Project Taurus involved significant planning, researching, shopping, building, testing, data collecting, and flying. My first launch in January of 2018 ran into some challenges due to the inclement weather, extreme cold, blowing snow, and high winds. This launch attempt taught me that one, the helium in the balloon must be greater than the weight of the payload, and mine was not. Two, because of the blowing snow, it was hard for the craft to rise, therefore could not lift swiftly. And three, because of the extreme cold, it was hard for the helium inside the balloon to expand. Therefore, my first launch attempt turned into a test flight. But it's not over yet. A second launch attempt is scheduled for August of 2018, under the guidance of a few engineers from the Canadian Space Agency and my friends. I can't wait.